Hello everyone. In this video, I'll introduce you to the topic cell cycle and cell division. Now, first let us understand why is it important to study cell division. If you look at life on a planet, a majority of it has a cellular theme. We all know that life started with unicellular organisms and even multicellular organisms are made up of cells or their products. Certainly, me growing from a baby to being an adult would not have happened without an increase in cell number. Now, an increase in cell number occurs because cells divide. So if we were to understand the growth and development of organisms, then we need to study how cell divides or what are the conditions that are required to trigger cell division or what are the conditions are required to rather make them quizzed or silent. So at least now we understand why is it important to study cell division. If we, grow, if we go further into detail to understand cell division, we get to see that there are two kinds of cells, prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells. And the rules of cell division are different for these two sets of organisms. If we talk about prokaryotic cells, then as long as environmental conditions are providing for growth and division, these cells simply keep on dividing like this. However, if we talk about eukaryotic cells found in multicellular organisms, we get to see that these cells, once they mature, they simply stop dividing. Now, there are a few eukaryotic cells that are an exception. So if we talk about the cells of the intestinal lining or the cells found in blood, we get to see that these cells like their prokaryotic ancestors, just keep on dividing. However, the process that they used to do this is different. In prokaryotes, the cell division is done by a process called as binary fusion. These cells rather do it by a much more well orchestrated event called as mitosis. So we learn that in prokaryotes, there's a process of cell division called as binary fusion. In eukaryotes, there's a separate process of cell division called as mitosis. Now, there is a third process as well, again found in eukaryotes. If you look at the primary reproductive organs like the testes in males that produce sperms and the ovaries in females that produce eggs, we get to see that these organs produce these cells by yet another cell division process called as meiosis. Now, this process is important for reproduction. Certainly, we will be learning in greater detail about all these processes of mitosis and meiosis in all the future videos on this topic. This is it to this introduction. Thank you.